Hey, how's it going? So, in the spirit of Halloween, I thought it might be fun to paint some gourds because I saw them at the store and I I wanted to paint them. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna paint them. Um, so I got five different gourds. They all came in like a bag together. So yeah, I'm just gonna go paint them all. So let's get started. Let's start with this guy. So to start off, I'm gonna gesso this gourd because I'm not sure that the paint will stick very well on this smooth surface. Who's oh, the cat? This is Lion. He's my, one of my new babies. I have two cats now. They're both kittens at the moment. So yeah, this is Lion, in case you were wondering. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do a coat of gesso to make sure it sticks. If you don't know, gesso just helps paint stick better on surfaces, so. And after I get that done, I can go ahead and start doing my base coat. So I'm gonna do an off-white for the base coat. Nothing too crazy, just some white paint with a little brown and yellow mixed in. And after many, many layers of that, I finally have a nice solid base coat here. And I'm going to start drawing down a frame. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's skip ahead to where I'm actually in frame. So I'm going to be using paint pens for this because I thought it would be a lot easier to get the details with paint pen than paintbrush. Um, so this brand is, I believe, called Painters. I couldn't find Posco pens anywhere, so I had to order them online and I wasn't sure if they'd get here in time. So I went to Walmart and found these. They're alright. They're not as uh, opaque as Posco's, but they're pretty good. So I wanted to do a spider web on this one, so I'm just starting out by doing like the vertical lines and then I'll go in and do the horizontal lines after I'm done with that. And I just kind of try to make it a little bit random where I put the lines. Yeah, so it looks like a spider web. Now this gourd had a lot of bumps on it, so it was, it was very difficult to figure out how to do the spider web around them. So I kind of just made it so that they'd be on top of the spider web. It's the best solution I could come up with. And after I finish with the spider web, I wanted to add some spiders and I thought the bumps would make great spiders so then they're kind of like 3D. So here I go doing that. And that one's done. I, since I'm, oh, it's Rosie. <laughs> she just got surgery, so we had to put like a sock around her so she wouldn't lick her wound. She just got fixed. Um, that's why she's wearing a turtleneck at the moment, but you know, it's pretty cute on her. But yeah, that's Rosie. Anyways, um, I kept the designs pretty simple on these gourds just because I knew I was gonna be doing five and I wanted to make sure I could fit them all in one video. So yeah, this is it for the first one. We just have a little spider web with a whole bunch of spiders. I think it's pretty cool, very spoopy. And that's what we're going for here. The paint did not stick very well onto the gourds. I did my best to like go over it and cover it up again, but you know, it's okay. It's, it was, it worked for the most part because I know I'm not gonna be keeping these. These are gonna go bad eventually because they're real gourds. So I wasn't too worried about it. Okay, now on to the next score. So I picked this one next, and I'm gonna start off by doing a sketch on it because I'm just gonna leave the background as the actual gourd. And you can't even really see what I'm sketching here, so we're just gonna skip ahead till the sketch is done and get in with the painting. So I'm just using my paint pen again to draw this out. So for this one, I decided to do a moon with a little kitty sitting on it and some stars and stuff and I, I don't know I just thought it was a cute little design and it'd be kind of fun for Halloween. I like the orange of this gourd I think it suits the design nicely. So 
this one was very quick and easy since I didn't have to do background code or anything. But it was still really fun and this is definitely one of my favorites. I think it's so cute. I really love cats so it was very fun to do this one. And it, you know, it's just nice and simple, but, uh, but pretty. Just a little silhouette of a cat on a moon. I like the stars too. Um, I like the speckles and then the actual stars. I think it turned out really nice. Very happy with this one. So for our next gourd here, I picked this one and I'm gonna do my gesso base coat again because this one's gonna have a background color. So let me just slap that on real quick and there we go. So for this one, I'm gonna paint the whole thing black because I wanna make it a witch's pot. I thought it was a nice shape for that. Kind of looks like a bell pepper. <laughs> so I'm just gonna paint the whole thing black really quick. It'll be really quick for you. For me, it was not really quick. It took took a while. <laughs> nice thing about black paint though is you really only have to do one or two coats. All right, now I've got it all black and I'm gonna take some green puffy paint. I'm gonna mix a few different colors together and I'm gonna use that as like the brew, the witch's brew, I guess, in the pot. So here I go doing that. I tried to make it kind of bubbly and drippy, like so it's dripping down the side of the pot and it has some bigger bubbles in it. And after I was done with that, I set it aside to dry for like almost a day because <laughs> it's a really thick coat of puffy paint. Puffy paint takes forever to dry. And then I thought it might be nice to add like flames at the bottom of it, like it's on a it's like it's cooking <laughs> on a fire. So I just did that with paint pens again. I started out with the outline, I'm just doing yellow, then orange, then red underneath it. And I started out with the wrong color of red, it was way too bright, so I switched to a darker one. And after I get those outlines in there, I just filled in the colors with the paint pens. Now, I will say, this is my least favorite one. I liked the idea, but I just feel like it didn't look quite right. It didn't, didn't quite execute it how I would have liked. The top just wasn't quite the right shape to make the it look like a pot, you know? So, I don't know. I tried it. It's okay. Not my favorite. Another reason I really don't like this one is because as I was doing the red part of the flame, my pen exploded all over it, getting red everywhere. <laughs> so um, let me just fix that off camera and then we can see the finished product. So here it is. Like I said, not really my favorite, but it's, you know, it is what it is. It's okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's just, I, I did my best. I still like the concept. It just didn't quite turn out as cool as I wanted it to. So that's okay. They can't all be winners, so. Okay. So for the next one, I'm going to be doing another coat of gesso on top, which I do feel like this really did help the paint stick. It just, the gourds are so smooth it was really hard for the paint to stay even with the gesso so you know so after I get that gesso on there I'm gonna go in with a very dark blue for the background color after many many coats of that we have it to this point and I'm gonna just do a line of black underneath for like the ground. I'm just gonna fill in the whole bottom of the cord. So for this one I wanted to do like a little haunted house thing so I started off by taking my paint pen and outlining the house and outlining the windows and doors so I don't color those in and then just filling that in and after I was done with that I did a little fence right next to it. 
And then I went ahead and drew some little like gravestones all around the back. Then I took my yellow paint pen and filled in the windows and did a little outline around the door. And then I went ahead and drew on a moon and dotted some stars on there, doing a few like actual stars as well. And after I have my stars on there, I'm going to go back in with the black and fill in the door, making that line around it a lot thinner. And then I just did crosses on the windows. And then I went ahead and added a little doorknob in yellow on the door. And that's this one done! It's really cute! This is one of my favorites, for sure. I think it's, uh, I don't know, it just turned out really nice. It's very clean and, uh, very spoopy. <laughs> so, I like this one. I definitely clustered some of the stars a little too close together, especially right above the house. But, you know, oh well. I don't think it's too distracting. Now on to the final gourd. So for this one I'm going to start off by painting the top portion white, which is pretty boring since it's already almost white because I did a coat of gesso on previously. <laughs> so let's just skip ahead to where I start painting the bottom portion with yellow. And can you guess what the middle is going to be? I bet you can't. I, I bet you can't guess. Look at that, it's orange. <laughs> So, um, I did forget to film me painting on the orange, but it's okay. <laughs> so this one's gonna be a little candy corn, if you couldn't tell. But to make it more interesting, I decided to add candy corns all over the candy corn. <laughs> so, here's me just sketching those on real quick, and then I'm gonna grab my paint pens and fill those in. To make them more visible, I took the two colors that weren't in that section, so for like the white, I used yellow and orange to outline the candy corns to make them stand out a little bit more. For the orange, I used white and yellow, and for the yellow, orange and white, you know, you get the idea. It's a cat! I love them so much, they're so cute. I should have like a song for when cat when the cats show up on the screen. <laughs> but anyways, back to the painting of the scored. After I got all those candy corns on there, it's done! I really really like this one, I think it's really cute. I really wanted to do like a candy corn one, but I didn't want it to be too boring just being a candy corn, so I, I like the candy corns on it just to make it a little more interesting. I think this one's one of my favorites for sure. This one and the cat one and the haunted house ones, I love those ones, I think they're so cute. The other two, they're they're okay. I really don't like the witch's paw one, mostly because of the trauma of my paint pen exploding on it. But you know, that's okay. What can you do? <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching me paint these gourds. It was very, very fun. And I'm really happy with how they turned out, so yes. <laughs> If you liked this video and are interested in watching more of my content or subscribing, I'd really appreciate it if you did. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Alright, bye.